All right, another day, another dollar. A bill search video. Let's see if we can find some huge finds sometimes, or if not, more often than not, I don't find junk. So let's uh, get right to it. What's weird about this $1 bill is, I don't know if you can see it in the uh, in the actual video, but it's really, really shiny. I don't know if that's something that's like with the actual bill or a foreign thing. Serial number and everything else with the bill is not really collectible. It's hard to tell. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get it like with some light, but right where it says $1, it gets really, really dark ink and uh, all the shadows and stuff as if it got overprinted on it. I'm going to look at it further uh, under better light. I will put an article on varietyairs.com about it and just kind of the research, even if it turns out to be nothing. Serial number here is not collectible. This is printed quite far over. If we look at, let's say, this next $1 bill. If you look at where it says 1 and where it has the printed uh, Department of the Treasury seal, it's actually supposed to be sitting about here. So this is really sitting quite far over. It's not the furthest one over in my collection. I do have one that's uh, not even touching the E. I would consider that collectible. But this little bit of a uh, slight shift of uh, printing is uh, pretty common. Usually you see it shifted to the right, but however, in this case, and on a lot of 2013s, it's shifted to the left. Neither one of these seem to be collectible, so I kind of do them both at the same time. Looks like the reverse of the bills are also pretty standard, nothing really crazy, and both are pretty folded up and dinged up, so I'd consider both of them to be kind of spenders and not keepers. Got ourselves a $50 bill. Man, if this 5 wasn't in here, we'd have ourselves a nice trinary note of 1s, 7s, and 2s. But the 5 has made its way in. That kind of ruined that. So nothing fancy as far as the serial number. Both of them match up, too. Of course, 50s, uh, you know, more often than not, they're going to be in pretty good shape. They're spent uh, a lot less readily than other denominations that are smaller than them. So that's one thing having to do with uh, the shape of $50 bills. And I think, I, I think subconsciously, like... With $2 bills, $100 bills, uh, $100 bills, and $50 bills, people like just want to take care of them a little bit better. They don't want to fold them all up and like throw them in their back pocket or in their purse little, you know, pocket or whatever. So I think that's part of it. So they have a lot longer lifespan, especially $2 bills. Oh, huh, what is this? Somebody had some fun with some stamps on this. There's quite a few stamps on this, actually. So let's try to see if we can decipher some of them. So, if we look down at the bottom left corner, we have one that is a... Let's start with the next to the F. Let's see if I can get a little bit better light on it. Let me shift this light over, see if we can see it a little better. There we go. So, we have one... This one that's black here. Looks like a wedding ring. And then the bottom of maybe a bullet-looking thing. The one next to it, of course, is a blue heart with S-H in it. The one up here just looks like some scribble scrabble. Let's go over here. Ah, Carlos. So let's zoom in on that. Good old Carlos. So Carlos has apparently got his own stamp and stamped a $50 bill. That's something cool. I'll kind of set that aside. Let's jump through the rest of them though. This next $5 bill is a newer Series $5 bill, Series 2013. The redesign was in 20, uh, 2009. This one's pretty beat up. It's also been wet. You can tell that from this side here. So it immediately detract from value. It seems to be printed appropriately. No miscuts, no misalignments. There's nothing collectible there. Next one, weird ink smear. I don't know if that... Huh. We might actually have ourselves an ink smear here. I mean, there's definitely some foreign ink and stuff here, but let's let's recreate the fold. Sometimes you got to look at how somebody's mess with this bill, but this side's not even folded, so I'm going to look at that closer, but it looks like we might have an ink smear. Let me see if I can get close to here. You can see how that green ink bleeds through uh, down past the legs of the eagle and the tail. Definitely uh, doesn't look to be foreign ink because it's not covering up any of those serial numbers. So that's that's definitely interesting to me. And it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So we'll, we'll have to look at that one a little bit closer. This five here, one thing you'll notice with the newer fives when they enhance the graphics, there's a lot of glossy black going on. 
that is not an error or variety. It is just part of the printing of the bill. Another thing here is, uh, let's look at these. Uh, so also in the newer five after 2009, the seals are printed interlaced in the five instead of being on top of it. So that's something to keep in mind too. It's not collectible. It's just part of the graphic. Everything else seems to be printed correctly. Be real cool if that was a fold over, but it's not. Nothing there, so we'll move on. Same dealio here. No repetition in the serial numbers. No fancy serial number on this one. Looks like everything's printed uh, pretty straight up. 2013 bill. There was a changeover in Secretary of the Treasury from 2009 uh, to the 2013 printings. So you'll notice that that name is different, but that's not collectible, just a little factoid. This one's been folded up a bunch. It looks like it actually got folded into a paper plane at one point. Money plane. Got ourselves a $20 bill. 2013, this one's been folded really crappily. I mean, think if you'd fold a bill, you'd at least try to fold it straight, but people just, I guess, don't care or whatever. Is like one of those, like, bam, bam, here's some money. Take it and get out of my face. But who knows? Nothing collectible with the serial numbers. Uh, 2013 bill, it's shown down here uh, to the right of Jackson's shoulder. It's had a, it's had a strap stamp. Somebody sta stamped at the bank right here. You can see with this line that's across his face. That's what that is from. Nothing else collectible, so we'll just jump through. The last three are look like 20s. This one's been tore up, either got whatever, who knows. Somebody probably pinned it to something at one point, and then the pin got ripped out. Uh, but the bill is together. I'll just tape it. Serial number is not collectible. No trinary. Nothing like that. Uh, everything else seems to be printed fine on the newer. This is 2009, so this is when they redid the bills. But in 2009 and 2013, like the uh, $50 bill or and the 5, the uh, symbol or seal, rather, for the Department of the Treasury is interlaced in the wording instead of being printed over top of it. I mean, it kind of was to begin with, but it's more prevalent once they did the, did the graph exchange. Nothing collectible there. We got some foreign ink up here on this 20 before we even get to the serial number. Everything else is printed straight, so there's no misalignment. It doesn't seem to have any over inks. Serial number seems, you know, to match up, which is good for a quality. Oh, hey, we got ourselves another little stamp. Looks like a D. Which is stamped right there above the tree on the right hand side of the White House. I love all the little different stamps and stuff, you know. I looked at the uh, Where's George stamps, did a video on that, that was cool. Oh, nice, almost a little, almost a little ladder here, but too much repetition, three, four, five, six, but you know, nothing collectible, it's not a ladder. Um, I've come very close to some ladders, but hey, you'll do that pretty much every single time you'll go through bills. So nothing collectible really in this round. Uh, except for we have what seems to be an ink smear. I'm going to look that. We'll get kind of closer to that. You can see how that green, see if I can hold the bill straight. Uh, see how that green from the seal here seems to be wiped not only to the right, uh, but also seems to kind of go adrift down south of where it's supposed to be. So we'll look at that closer and see if it is in fact uh, an ink smear. Then this bill is not collectible, but it's interesting that it has so many stamps on it. Just, I guess it's been around and one person started the stamp process, old Carlos here or whoever. But, uh, nothing really crazy collectible. This will be uh, worth the most money over face value. I've seen ink smears go for 10 to 15 to 20 times the face value. This is a newer bill, so if it was really an ink smear and then it was an older bill, it would be worth even more. Uh, but nevertheless, if it is, I will definitely have some value over face value and I'll let you know if it is after I check it out and, uh, See if I can get it certified that it is, in fact, what we think it is. But until that point, thank you for checking out another video on bill searching, seeing if we can find some rare finds in our daily pocket money. But check me in the next video and check out varietyairs.com. Subscribe and like if you enjoy money. I like money, you like money, everybody likes money. See you in the next video.